They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? From Israel, the raging red, it's Ami, the animal, Sapir. And from Germany, in the coat is purple, it's Azita, the cat, to Kandong They've come from around the world for a shot at the world title. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts. And today I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship games, we're going to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Hello, Mo. Hello, Mike. Here's a look at the standings. Team CIS, Israel, and Germany are all looking to move up. Who'll grab this day's gold? Let's get underway and find out. Well, we'll get underway with our first event, which is water polo, global gut style, which means totally aerial. In Skyball, we're going to give you a little bionic bungee so no water in the world can hold you down. You grab a ball, you soar, you fake right, you shoot, you score, move. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, our players will grab a ball and throw it into the goal across from them. The player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds wins. On your mark, get set. All right, 60 seconds of chaos. Going to grab a hold of those balls and put them in the goal. And we have an individual judge for each player who will tally up the scores, give them the mole before she gives the results to us. But right now, as 46 seconds, so we're down about 40. You've got to have the endurance, the control, and the accuracy to score the most. It looks like right now, Blue with three, Red just scored a third, so, oh, Blue has four now. So halfway through the game, Blue with another score, great accuracy, and Red, oh, just off the bottom of it. There's Purple going up, overshooting her goal. You see just how important the accuracy is. It isn't just getting the bounce off the ground and getting the ball in your hand. It's having the good arm to throw it in. Red just missing, Blue scoring another one. Purple, little Lucy Goosey on the bungee right there. And blue, way out in front. Oh, but just missing the bottom there. Red, a little too short. Oh. So as time runs out, you see just how important, as I said, the accuracy was as our red player hit the bottom of the goal a couple of times. It's going to hurt his results. Let's go to Mo. Mo. In first place was Artyom scoring eight goals. In second place, Amit scoring five. In third place, Azita scoring one goal. Well, in Skyball, once you lift off, you got to drop the cargo. The animal goes up with pinpoint precision, putting one of his into the goal. And then the rocking Russian, the boss, with the double delivery of a little white rubber, turning it right into first place. Mike, first place in our event is worth 300 points. That goes to Artyom from the CIS. In second place with 200 points, Amit from Israel. And in third place with 100 points, Azita from Germany. And here's how it works. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And now it's time to meet a rampaging Russian whose nickname, Nachalnik, that means the boss. Hey, Artyom, spill your guts. Hello, my name is Artyom from Belgorod, Russia. Boxing, soccer, and basketball are my favorite sports. To be a good athlete, you have to be strong, self-confident, and generous. I like being here in America for Global Guts. The people here are friendly, and I love the surroundings and the weather. 
reaction up next basic training but folks there is nothing basic about it okay all the training facilities in the world cannot compete with our killer course our players are going to start out firing right through the tire crawl and then they'll have to make it up the wall climb after they get to the top of that they got to shoot down the slingshot and then jam through the elastic jungle get out of that climb up the cargo net and then mosey across monkey bridge power down the pool slide into the pool to end the race you want rules i'll give you more Mo. Mike, our players are timed from the starting line to splashdown. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first, Artyom, the boss. This man is from Russia, representing the Commonwealth of Independent States, almost slipping on the wall climb, but right down the slingshot. He is on fire, folks, setting the pace. And in the lead, going into this event, our other players are going to have to match or beat his time if they want to be in the same arena as this young man. Up the cargo net, great poise, good speed, and fearlessness as he makes it across Monkey Bridge. Not afraid of sliding down until he gets to the pool slide, and with the plunge, gets into the pool, stops the clock. You can see him reaching for a little breath, and we'll go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Artyom clocked in at 33.2 seconds. 33.2 is going to be a tough time to beat. Yeah, thumbs up from this Russian madman. Up next from Israel is Amit. On your mark, get set. Amit! His nickname is the animal. Look at this man. You know, the tire crawl, he is an animal. He just ate that thing up. But there was a false start, so what we'll do is we'll get the official ruling from Mo. He's a little bit confused, as you can see, but he'll get the official ruling and go back and try it again. Mo? Amit had a false start. He has one more chance to run on time. If he does another false start, he'll get an automatic third place, Mike. Okay, so Amit shaking it off a little bit, regaining composure. We'll see what he can do now. He's got to wait for Mo to say go. Here we go. On your mark, get set. And go means the whistle. He heard it that time, on time, and right back again into the tire crawl and walking up. <laughs> Look at this guy. He doesn't care about the false start. He's put that behind him. The only thing in front of him is more obstacles, which he will tackle. Amit with the fleet feet, making it up the car, going at the time to beat 33.2. If he can get across Monkey Bridge, he'll have a first place time. Hustling down into the pool, splash down. Oh, nice work for Amit. Yeah, putting his arms up. He's, he's psyched. Woo, Mo. Amit clocked in at 30.1 seconds. I'm losing my voice screaming for this dude from Israel. He wants victory, yeah, but number one says Azita the Cat. She's up next. On your mark, get set. The only thing between Amit from Israel and victory is Azita the Cat. 30.1, the time to beat, and she is one of Germany's finest kid athletes representing Team Germany through the elastic jungle, going low, staying low and finding the open spaces. Oh, but the cargo net, her foot slipped there. She's going to have to make it across Monkey Bridge to get down the pool in about two seconds. It doesn't look like she's going to make the first place time. She's going for second place points. It doesn't look like she'll get that. Hesitation on Monkey Bridge cost her as the cat gets a little wet behind the ears. Let's go to Mo and find out the official time for the cat. Mo. Azita clocked in at 37.3 seconds. So Amit takes first place, Artyom takes second place, and Azita takes third place. Well, the kitty cat stuck her claws in the elastic jungle and ate it up when, when the cat got to the cargo net. She was saying, meow, meow, meow. Let me out of here. This thing's slowing me down. The cat got tripped up in the cargo net. Let's see how we stand at the leaderboard now. Mo. Well, Mike, now Artyom from the CIS and Amit from Israel are tied in first place with 500 points each. And in third place is Azita from Germany with 200 points. Oh, yeah. Well, two events down. We're just getting warmed up, and I'm kicking back in the pool because when we come back, We'll be using this board right here for a little skirt and safari, and then we'll be doing a little free kick. You come back. Welcome back to Global Guys.
that's where three players from three places still battling out for the goal. We'll get back to the action in a minute. But right now, we're going to get to know a little bit closer an Israeli charm who can't be disarmed. Hey, Amit, the animal, spill your guts. Hello, I'm a mix of here, and I'm from Herzliya, Israel. My favorite sports are long jump, soccer, basketball, and of course, rollerblade. My hobbies are computers and music, but I really love playing the keyboards. I came here to Global Gus to represent my country with pride, to have fun, and to bring the trophy home. Imagine, if you will, shooting the curl at Hawaii's North Shore in Scurf and Safari. The waves are all yours. We're going to give you a scurf board, we're going to give you a rope, and you'll be scamming some tube time over our Titanic waves. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, in this event, each player scurfs across the pool, around the buoys, and back, high-fiving the spotter at the end of the pool to end the race. Time penalties are assessed for any missed buoys and best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first is the boss, and the boss, no time for a coffee break for this guy, turning round and round those buoys with fine form, the Russian rocker, the boss, born to run, born to scurf, let's go to Mo for the time, Mo. Artyom clocked in at 12.9 seconds. Well, yeah, number one, number one, yeah, you're tied. The first place with a meet. On your mark, get set. And around the boots. The balance extremely important because you got to keep your weight back, the nose of your board up, so those waves won't kick you around. It does not look like he is going to be getting first place points, but he's got to maintain his control because there is still another player left yet to go. You see the tip of the board is down into the water. That's just adding pressure and wait to his time. Let's go to Mo and find out what the official time for Amit was. Amit clocked in at 20.7 seconds. All right, so he's shaking his head. He's a little bit disappointed with himself. As you can imagine, maintaining control of that board and maneuvering the board around every obstacle, and especially the waves as they come pounding in at the scurf board, is difficult. Looks like right now the cat is ready. On your mark, get set. So the cat. And in the last event in water, she's back in the water right now. And she needs a victory here to get back in the thick of this thing. Turning around the buoys, a slight hesitation on the turn. Does not look like she'll have first place points, but second place time. If she's made it around all those buoys without any penalties, looking good. Let's go to Mo. Azita came in at 16.4 seconds. So, Artyom takes first place, Azita takes second place, and Amit takes third place. They say a cat has nine lives. Well, this cat had ten buoys to get around. Five down, five back. You saw that wide turn right there. Slow her time down a little bit as she was making away those buoys. She got second place points. And the boss, born to run, born to scurf this Russian rocker. Got a hungry heart for first place points and victory. Let's check out the leaderboard now, Mo. Artyom from the CIS is still in the lead with 800 points. In second place is Amit from Israel with 600 points. In third place, Azita from Germany with 400 points. So we're into the thick of it after Scurf and Safari. We got free kick coming up, but first time to get to know this German great who's scratching and clawing her way to global guts glory. Azita, the cat, time to spill your guts. Hi, I'm Azita Kanepur and I'm from Bakum, Germany. My hobbies are inline skating, dancing, and diving, but I would love to learn to surf. I train for track and field at the Olympic Training Center in Water Sheet. My biggest dream is to compete in the Olympics. I have two lucky charms, a necklace and a ring. The ring is special because a friend gave it to me. You think World Cup goalies have it tough in free kick? Our players have just 45 seconds to defend every shot of the World Cup. They're in the goal all alone. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Players have 45 seconds to defend their goal against two cannons shooting soccer balls at them, staying in their zone at all times. The player with the most saves wins. On your mark, get set. So as we go into this event, our leader, from Team CIS is the boss in blue. 
And the boss right now has about five saves. In the lead, though, in purple with seven. In red, that's Amit from Israel. He's in second place with 600 points. Right now has nine saves. And out in the lead is the boss now. The boss with 16 in blue. Right behind purple and red, each having 14. With blue breaking out in front with 21 saves right now and 15 seconds left to play. Red and purple, each with 17. 18 now for purple. Blue getting out in front with 25. Red has 23. It's going to be close at the buzzer. Tie running out. That's red. It's another one. Very close at the buzzer. We'll have to go to Mo. In first place was Artyom making 30 saves. In second place, Amit making 27 saves. In third place, Azita making 23 saves. You gotta have agility and concentration and look at the animal's focus. He had great focus and concentration moving all over the goal, but he didn't have enough to take over the boss. The boss with plenty of saves, a little free kick action. Another first place finish for the boss from Russia. I had a little chance to talk to him yesterday during practice. Here's what he had to say. Now, I understand you're a boxer. I want you to tell me about how you get involved with this and what's it like. My trainer, my papa. My dad's my coach. I started boxing at the age of six. I was scared at first, but then I got better and I lost my fears. Ну, я, я перестал этого все бояться и выступал, начал хорошо. Can you say, do you have it in Russian? А ты сможешь? So the leaderboard should look interesting after that fourth event. How's it look, Mo? It looks interesting, Mike, like you said. Artyom from, is in first place. Artyom from the CIS with 1,100 points. In second place is Amit from Israel with 800 points. In third place, Azita from Germany with 500 points. Weaving, shoving, heaving, look out, the crag, super, afro, crag, coming up. Oh yeah, folks, welcome back to Global Guts. We're in the middle of a global struggle. Three players from three nations battling it out. Their biggest challenge has arrived, and it's the crag with the points. They have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo, see where we stand, Mo. After four events, Artyom from the CIS is in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place is Amit from Israel with 800 points. In third place, Azita from Germany with 500 points. That's a look at where they stand now, how they got there. We start off with a little sky ball. Azita going up off the rim of the goal. The boss was the one who took victory in fine form, filling up his goal with point after point. Check out another one. Heave ho, 300 bills. We're getting the basic training. Where Adil, the boss from Russia, got back setting the pace, but no one could beat my man Amit from Israel across the Monkey Bridge. Victory as he went down the pool slide, taking the plunge. He liked to feel that water. Put his arms up. He went back in the water for a little scurf and safari, where he scurfed up, kept the nose down, though. He took third place because his balance was not as good as the boss. The boss coming in for a little victory in scurf and safari. We're going back and forth, and then Azita, the cat, in the goal for a little free kick. Kicking back, knocking him down, but the boss came back for victory one more time. And as we go into our super aggro crag, ladies and gentlemen, the competition is really going to heat up. Ladies and gentlemen, it used to be the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag. Now it is the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, avalanche ledge. Ultra sharp spires, rumbling rocks, ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo, up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You rock some rules, we've got to mow, mow! Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. 
the first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the pick of the crag, will take first place points. Mike. And so now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title, so let's go get it started with Mo. Mo! On your mark, get set, and with that whistle, the super aggro crack climb again. Actuators, you got to hit all of them on the way to the top because if you won, global gun goes. You got to hit them all. The boss is in the lead. The rocks come tumbling down. But over to the right is the cat. Azita in purple. The falling sheet of snow. She's at the ice wall. She could win the super aggro grab. Azita missed an actuator. As the animal comes in next, and the cat will claw her way up the ice wall for the finish. Let's go to Mo. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Amit from Israel. In second place, Azita from Germany. Artyom from the CIS did not hit the last boulder in Boulder Canyon and was given an automatic third place. It's not even close to being over till the super aggro crack. Artyom jumped over the last boulder. He was disqualified, not knowing it at that point. He continued to climb. Amit in red needed to get up the super aggro crag in second to take the global guts gold. So right here at the ice wall, all three of our players neck and neck. And then Amit walking in second, but he was first because Artyom was disqualified. What a finish to our crag here today. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standing. Here it is, Mike. In third place today, Azita from Germany with 1,050 points. In second place, Artyom from the CIS with 1,475 points. Our winner today, Amit from Israel with 1,500 25 points. Three global competitors stepping up to the platform to get their medals. The bronze going to Azita, the cat from Germany. Take back that bronze medal to the German people. The boss will still take home the silver. Fantastic score of 1,475 points. The boss will take that back to the people in Russia representing the Commonwealth of Independent States, the boss. And the gold medal, the Global Guts Gold, will go to Amit from Israel. You are now hearing Israel's national anthem because Amit, the animal, will take home the Global Guts Gold and a glowing piece of our radical rock will bring that back to his home country of Israel. And the extreme arena is rocking for the animal. And now, these three global kid athletes will take a well-deserved victory lap around the extreme arena. He's number one. That's right, animal. Listen to this extreme arena rock and roar for these athletes. Their parents, their families have come to congratulate them. Three superstars from their own countries, three of the best. Once again, no ifs, ands, or buts. These kids behind me, they got global guts. Do you have it? Reebok Gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.